everyone, thank you for watching this video. My name is Hannah and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about why I stopped using toothpaste. So about a week ago, I was like, I don't even know what brought it up, but I started thinking about how much chemicals, like what is in my toothpaste? What am I putting in my body? And so I started doing some research and here, here's a tube of toothpaste, normal store-bought toothpaste. Good reputable, good reputable brand, right? Colgate. So let me read to you guys what is in this. So the active ingredient is called sodium monofluorosphate, I think. And it's called an anti-cavity. That's the purpose of why it's in toothpaste. The inactive ingredients in here are glycerin, hydrated silica, water, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, um, PEG-12, sodium lauryl sulfate, Flavor, sodium hydroxide, cellulose gum, where'd it go? This thing, what's it called? It's a carrageenan. Sodium saturin, F, D, and C, blue number one, D and C, yellow number ten. So, I started doing some research on toothpaste, like, what, like, what is, what is up with this, you know? And I did some research on fluoride and glycerin especially and also laurel, bleh, sodium laurel sulfate, also, what's it also called, sodium laureth sulfate. It's in a lot, a lot of beauty products. So if you look in the ingredients in your shampoo and your conditioner or body wash or even your hand soap, I can almost guarantee you will find it in there. It is also in toothpaste. So... If you heard hydrated silica, that word might have made you think of gel silica. Those little, you know, those little packets, usually white packets, and they come in maybe a new box of shoes or something like that, and it's there to keep freshness and stuff in your shoes or whatever. Like, you're not supposed to ingest that, and there's got to be a reason for that, right? So, I got, like low-key paranoid that day after I started thinking about toothpaste and how weird it was and how much I didn't know about it. So I obviously didn't have an alternative at the moment so I combined some baking, well actually no, the first night I just dipped my toothbrush in baking soda and brushed my teeth with it. I was like this is just what's gonna happen because I am not putting that stuff in my body. So I just brushed my teeth with baking soda and then the next morning I made toothpaste and so I melted some coconut oil and mixed in baking soda with that and added some peppermint oil to that and it really wasn't that bad like it's extremely salty so compared to your normal toothpaste you're kind of like ah! but you just have to keep telling yourself like this is good for me this is not harming me and I have to tell you guys like my teeth have never felt cleaner or more clean my teeth have never felt this great in my whole life. I did some more research and stuff, and so I found this brand of toothpaste called Earth Paste. Redmond Earth Paste. So I ordered two and gave one to Daniel. This one is peppermint, and the other flavor was wintergreen. And I will read you guys the ingredients in this. So there is Redmond Clay, Real Salt, essential oils, xylitol, and water. Five ingredients. That's it. Anyway, in this is what the tube looks like. I think it's pretty cute. It's got a little screw cap. Ooh. I will just say what the back of it says. It is all natural. No coloring, no glycerin, no fluoride, no SLS, which is sodium lauryl sulfate, like I talked about before. And it also... It is also vegan. So... If you are looking for a good toothpaste that is not full of chemicals, I would highly recommend this. I can put a link below in the description. I just ordered this off of Amazon and I got two bottles. So they're four ounces. And it's definitely, it is different than normal toothpaste. It doesn't foam. Like it doesn't when you brush your teeth, you know, and you get all that foam and spit. This, this toothpaste and like the homemade toothpaste that I made, it doesn't do that because it doesn't have those chemicals in there. So don't be alarmed and don't be offset by that. It's totally normal. And even this, even though it wasn't homemade, 
like this still makes my teeth feel amazing and it smells really good too so that's that's that i also purchased this like in my research i came across something called activated charcoal and i was like that sounds interesting i want to look into that you know like you see all those pictures on like instagram and stuff with people with black teeth and you're like what I didn't know what that was, so I looked into it a little bit, and Activated Charcoal is actually an amazing, amazing product. So the charcoal, like, is an absorbent thing. So if you in intake, if you consume poison or something, and you need to get that out of your body, like, Activated Charcoal is recommended for you to take because it, it'll pull out the toxins and stuff. So the idea behind brushing your teeth with this charcoal is that it will cling to your teeth and kind of pull out the yellow or the discoloration or whatever else. And I think it's really cool. I'll show you. I'll try to show you what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty much just black powder. So. It's really just this black, black powder. And in this is activated organic coconut charcoal, bentonite clay, and peppermint oil. It doesn't really, it doesn't really have a smell. So I'm trying to use this a couple times a week to see if it will help whiten my teeth. So I will keep you guys updated on that. And one thing that I noticed about this is after like I would brush my teeth with it a few times, it was getting in my gums, like under my teeth, so I was like, oh, what is going on? And so I just had to wait a little while and like just kind of get it out with toothbrush or tooth, not toothpick, a Q-tip or something, just kind of swab it out of there. And like this also will make your teeth feel amazing. I can also link this down below. Um, yeah, so this is the Polar Teeth Whitening. This is a brand I got. The little kit thing I got came with a toothbrush. And I really like it. So yeah, I would highly recommend both of these products for you guys to try. And I am by no means a health professional or expert. I am just interested in learning what is really in the products that I am putting on and in or around my body. So as I learn more, I will make more videos and share them with you guys. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see some more videos like this one don't forget to subscribe and leave comments down below of what you would like to see next have a great day everybody bye almost forgot most important thing i wanted to share with you guys the verse of the day so i have the bible app whatever you know just uh, I just have the the Bible app and so the verse of the day is Psalm 33 18 and this is the NIV version but the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him on those whose hope is in his unfailing love and so I just thought I would start doing that every video I make just put in a little verse of the day so yeah okay have a great day guys bye also when I told Jonah I was filming he said he wanted to be in it so we gotta go find him you have to ask me some questions about toothpaste how often do you use toothpaste? Every every other year. No, I can't. Every other day? <laughs> yeah. Every, every other, day? Every day. What do you think is in your toothpaste? Chloride and isn't that stuff that goes in the pool? <laughs> in the pool. Um chlorine goes in the pool. Oh. Uh, chloride. Chloride? Alright, can you look up here? No, it doesn't have lead in it. That's another question. Mm. Do you think toothpaste is good for you? No, because that's why you made homemade toothpaste. Are you ever going to stop using store-bought toothpaste? Probably not. Probably not? Why? Because. There's a healthier way to keep your teeth clean. Are you going to do that? Yeah. What advice would you give to someone about brushing their teeth? Um, brush the teeth, like scrub, and do like circles. Circles? Circles. Circles, all right. Your front and the back teeth. Some good advice and for brushing your teeth. Do it for about a minute. About a minute? What so happens like, to your toothpaste when you brush with it? It like turns into bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah. yeah and then spit that out, and then, um, then do it, then do what you normally would do. 
and then spit it out again, and then I think it would be done. Alrighty. Sounds good. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. It came with a toothbrush. It came with the... Okay. Yeah? Alright. So, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe below and comment down below. Maybe.